my favorite trick, y'all. Uh, skin the gerbil. 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 All the time you go round and round in my mind, yeah. Welcome to Popcast, a crowd-sponsored yo-yo show. Huge shout out to John Anderson and Taka from Spin Gear and my 90 other sponsors over on patreon.com slash docpop for sponsoring this show. My name is Dr. Popular. I've been yo-yoing for about 21 or 22 years. In that time, I've created some tricks you might've heard of like branding, gyroscopic flop, uh, a couple styles of yo-yoing like um, Mobius style and Astro style. The thing I'm probably most well known for is a trick called skin the gerbil. This episode is going to be about a trick called Skin the Gerbil, and that is a crazy name for a trick, and I'm sure you're all wondering, why did I call the trick Skin the Gerbil? Well, it turns out, in 1999, a young Dr. Popular was flipping through a yo-yo trick book, and I came across a trick called Skin the Cat. And Skin the Cat looks like this. It's a power throw. You're going to take your non-throw hand, and you're going to do this motion and a loop. So that's Skin the Cat. It is a classic trick it used to be uh something you'd see at yo-yo contest you know like rock the baby would be the trick and then and then skin the cat uh it is a trick that's been around for a long time and it was a trick that i was pretty shocked to see because it made no sense you're like looking through the trick book and it's like rock the baby the ufo and skin the cat which is such a weird name for a trick and so i decided when i came up with a new trick i liked i decided to call it skin the gerbil so that people would be like, oh, Doc, that is a strange name for a trick. I don't think I like it. No, sir, I don't like it. And then I could be like, yeah, I know it is a strange name. Why do we call this other one Skin the Cat? Within a year, it was in yo-yo contests, the National Yo-Yo Contest, World Yo-Yo Contest. And also, Skin the Cat was now being called Tidal Wave. And that, was, that change was probably already kind of happening. I think people in the 90s were already kind of like knew the trick under those two names. But I think Skin the Gerbil helped, helped redefine the name and now it is Tidal Wave. So in this episode of Popcast, we're gonna talk about Skin the Gerbil. And before we do, I just wanna talk about kind of this concept that Skin the Gerbil was built around. Uh, when I was yo-yoing, I found that sometimes there was moves that could be combined together to make just one move. Uh, so if done one way, they were like three different moves. But if you could do it right, you could do those three moves as if it was one move. Now, an example of this, if you were to take a trapeze, a somersault, and a double on, that's three moves. But if you did it this way, that's pretty different. It's like, you know, it's those three moves. That is what I called alpha style. And you could take any combination of tricks and link them together into one smooth, continuous motion. That's alpha style. And of course the opposite would be beta style. So when I'm going left and right here, there's no way to do that smoothly. Like you have to stop the yo-yo and change its direction. So th the moves that were like, the moves that couldn't be linked together, those were the betas, kind of the, the stopping points. And the moves that could be linked together, those were alphas. And Skin the Gerbil, you're gonna see, is gonna have a couple alphas, a beta, an another couple alphas, another beta, and you know, so on, right? Uh, another trick that I did that kind of demonstrated this principle was a trick called the Matrix. The matrix has this element to it where you do this pullover out and on, and then you drop, pull over out, right? Like the, the key is for the matrix, when you're doing that double or nothing, you're not going drop, pull, pull, swing. The, the, the thing is that you're doing those moves all together. And thus we have boop. That's the alpha style. So the matrix, uh, was the first of my kind of like alpha tricks. And literally I was watching The Matrix and I was like, that looks awesome. And it kind of made me think about yo-yoing kind of that way. So that's where the term, you know, uh, Matrix came from. And I think alpha was in my mind, this kind of computery version of kind of dodging bullets. When you're learning Skin the Gerbil, I'm gonna be talking about it in terms of steps, but your ultimate goal is to link those moves together. So when you learn Skin the Gerbil, you're learning the steps, but then you're also learning how to fluidly put them together.
Level nine, skin the gerbil. All right, um, I've done a simplified version of this. So I don't know if it's actually, okay, it's like that, that, that. Oh, oh, no, no! Ah! So skin the gerbil is gonna start off with a trapeze and then a somersault. So when I do the somersault, I'm gonna take my throw hand bring it inward pointing towards me so making kind of a loop i'm going to push and do the somersault so the yo-yo goes inside my arm kind of between my arm and, and my stomach and you can do this any number of times and you shouldn't get like any twist around your fingers or anything it should just spin around once you do that you're going to end up on a double on trapeze which looks like this so basically we are trapeze, somersault, continue that motion and catch the yo-yo basically on a trapeze twice. So we talked about alpha flow. What you wanna to learn to do is be able to con combine these segments together. So let's, let's consider this part one of Skin the Gerbil, these three moves. And we're gonna learn how to do this toss, catch, on. So, you're taking one, two, three, and you're gonna go, as soon as it catches on the trapeze, you're gonna continue around your finger. And you can see, um, even though I taught it using a somersault push, what you're actually doing is just using the momentum of catching it on. You're using that momentum to follow through, and then you just stop at that beta move. So part one of Skin the Gerbil is trapeze, somersault, double on. Part two is gonna start from that double on, unwind, back to a trapeze. You're gonna take your throw hand and you're gonna drape it over your pointer finger and pull. So we've started here and part two is gonna go here, pull, and let that yo-yo continue now onto the other side. You're basically gonna be doing uh, kind of a, a throw hand side. For me, that's my right side version of that double on trapeze that we did here. So just like this double on trapeze, I'm gonna go off, pull, continue on. So that's part two of Skin the Gerbil, is that motion. And of course, we're talking about alpha style again. So let's talk about how we can make this next move as smooth as the beginning. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go hop off and start that pull. So from here, while the yo-yo is going off, I'm already chasing it and pulling over while the yo-yo is coming off. And then of course, just continuing without a pause. So it's gonna look like this. Smooth motion. Now we're ready for part three of Skin the Gerbil which is simply gonna be hopping off. And you're gonna do a variation of that double on trapeze. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna miss and then catch. So you're intentionally missing that double on trapeze. Um, the yo-yo swings in front of the string. And then you catch. You can practice that if you want just from, just from here. When you do that miss and catch, that's actually kind of a fun place if you want, just to do this little fun lock. You know, just, just a fun move to do if you're just kind of bored. Boop, 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 boop. Lots of fun things you can do here. And then you just unwind. If you're using a responsive yo-yo, you hop the yo-yo up in the air and you catch it. If not, a bind is fine. So we're gonna take those three elements, those three steps, and show them all together now. Trapeze, somersault, Double on, off, pull over, right hand double on, around, miss, catch, and then just unwind. Like I was saying, you absolutely want to learn how to do all of these moves as smooth as possible and really use the momentum 
Um, this is just something where when you're looking at the trick, if you can see things that can be merged, try to merge them. So, you know, try to do that. Try to do trapeze right into that roll, right into that stop. That's gonna be just a killer move in general to learn. That's gonna help you out with so many other things. Boop. Okay, now I'm showing off. So that's skin the gerbil. At this point, it is one of the fundamental intermediate tricks, like one of those tricks that people learn when they're learning yo-yos, and that's really flattering. That's really awesome to be kind of like, to have a trick that's a pillar in uh, the yo-yo community. I even saw a video of this uh, YouTuber, millions of followers, and when he wanted to learn how to yo-yo, he his goal was to learn skin the gerbil. But the next attempt, I gave everything in the throw, and I tried to be as accurate as possible. And then, this happened. So he was like, I've never yo-yoed before, and this is where I want to get to. It's a good intermediate trick, like a good destination for a lot of people, and I hope I hope you learn it. Um, it's also kind of gathered a second life in that skin the gerbil is oftentimes used for horizontal tricks. Now, because of all these kind of uh, fluid motions, um, that actually works really well for keeping the yo-yo uh, horizontal. So my my suggestion for you, if you're learning horizontal, definitely you know learn skin the gerbil. Uh, but my one request. And this is just a personal request, you know? I talked about how important the intro was to skin the gerbil. When you're doing skin the gerbil horizontal, uh, if you can, try to skip that banana turnover. Like, let's think about skin the gerbil in horizontal, let's think about it as straight into that trapeze as best you can. So that's just a personal request. Now, uh, like I said, this is a trick that's kind of uh, outgrown me. It's sort of like a, a, a fundamental trick out there and I remember being on Twitter a couple months ago and someone said, hey doc, why did you call it Skin the Gerbil? And I said, because Skin the Cat was a terrible name and I had to prove it wrong. And then they said, well, did they change the name of Skin the Cat? And I was like, yes, I won. And, and then they were like, why do you call it Skin the Gerbil still then? Uh, that's it for this episode of Popcast. Thank you so much for watching. Again, thanks to all my sponsors on Patreon.com. By the way, you might have noticed I'm using a new yo-yo this episode. This is the Bolt. The Bolt is back. The Bolt Part 2 is still around, but this is a remake of the classic. It is $45 on my shop, drpopular.com. You can also see it on yo-yo expert and spingear.com. I am super proud of these. Uh, the Bolt was my favorite yo-yo, my favorite signature yo-yo, uh, made from like 2003 to 2007 or 2008, and it's back, and I'm really proud of it. So if you, if you want a classic yo-yo, check them out on my shop, drpopular.com. Thanks for watching. We don't need to call it Skin the Gerbil anymore. Like, it was a cute name when I was younger. Maybe we call this trick Gerbil. <laughs>